Hello everyone, Ubiquiti has finally released a new version 8.5.6 on the Unified Network application which they have officially announced as a stable. It's been 3 and 4 days, you will see they have uh, released this uh, application version as stable. So now you can update your U UDM gateways, Unify consoles on that version. If you are running on the self-hosted controller, you can go ahead and update the Unify network application to 8.5.6. You will see there are lots of improvement in this version. First uh, improvement is they have added a support for NetFlow and now you can packet capture your gateways and you will see the improve and customize dashboard. Uh, you can uh, customize the widget on the dashboard for the access point, uh, clients as well as as the AP um, switches and uh, so uh, if you look for the NetFlow it is not available as of now because it requires a unify gateways and the console should be on uh, version 4.1 or newer so as of now the UDM gateways and the UXD Pro and all other gateways are on the version 4.0.3 so you won't uh, see the support of that also uh, the NetFlow is not supported on the Unify Express and the UXD Lite due to the lower spec as of now if you will see if you use the NetFlow uh, it will require more uh, CPU that's why they have removed the support uh, of NetFlow on the Unify Express as the UXD Lite but you will see all other gateways will be supported uh, the version 10 and 9 uh, 10 9 and 5 are supported you can customize the collector address port and rates so you will see the net uh, flow option under the integration so you can select your network you can choose the version your collector address and you can uh, 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 set the timeout rate and the refresh rate other features you will see the same activity login so now you can export all your system logs of the network application on your sim server remote syslog it should be splunk microsoft sentinel and ibm curator it is supported and the packet cap Capture is now available on the UDM, UDM SC consoles, UXD Pro, and all your gateways. But it is not available now because the Unify gateway firmware version should be 4.1 or newer. Also, the gateways now support the aggress port limiting. This feature it was not added, but I can show you in the this video where you can check that. So right now my UK uh, Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus is running on the Unify Network application 8.5.6. So first difference you will see under the dashboard, it's improved. So one gateway, two switches, three access point and seven non in Unify Network devices. Uh, you will see here seven non Unify Network devices and 13 clients as of now connected. Here you will see all network health, the scale of network download and upload. You can see here uh, if and the you will see the internet activity download and upload. So you can check for uh, hourly basis day basis week and monthly so you can see the uh, internet activity for the download and upload so it was set on the one day so you can check the graph the download and upload speed and here you will see the wi-fi health the tx retries you can check for the uh, for the see the date time tx retries connection and the download and upload during that time the wi-fi activity you can see the how much uh, uh, data downloaded on the wi-fi and uploaded you can check that and after that you will see the isp performance right now you can see the uptime and see the graph Right now, my WAN one is disconnected. So you will see this blue color it is showing because it is connected on the failover. So you can check it from here. And this is the client activity right now. All the clients are connected. You can see the this of client and access point. And here you can check for the AP, uh, T, uh, AP radio TX retries, transmit retries. And you can check for all, you can set for either 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz. You can check according to that and here you can see the Wi-Fi connectivity status now there is no uh, such um, issues right now the association authentication failure you will see that right now everything is 100% 
and the ap density you can check for your ap density here you will see uh, the my access point density how many clients are connected on which access point you can check that and this is uh, you can check the traffic percent of traffic everything so from this button you can see the uh, dashboard and widget if you uncheck the ap's you won't see that dashboard and you can apply the changes according to that after that you, once you go to the settings and integration system and under the integrations you see uh, you don't see the netflow options because uh, unify gateway should be on uh, 4.1 version that's why the netflow will be added and uh, after that you will see those features and the under the activity logging either you can set to off or you can uh, use internally store or you can set on your sim server when you choose the sim server uh, you have to choose the network i mean uh, the content which uh, the logs you needed so you can see this is the list of admin activity client security detection devices trigger vpn logs and here you can uh, uh, either you can set the debug log so you can debug those log and tr for troubleshooting and it may cons uh, consist of uh, sensitive information so you can you will have to add the server ip address and the port number and uh, and you can use the sim server and you can uh, check the logs for the troubleshooting of your uh, clients uh, and everything on this uh, sim activity logging so this is a pretty good feature uh, after that uh, they have uh, added a uh, packet capture on the unify gateways if you check here but as of now the uxg pro and other gateways is not on that version so you won't be able to check the packet capture but if you check the release node uh, th this is how you can capture the packet on gateways and download the capture file uh, packet capture is not supported on the same unify express and the uxg light model due to the uh, spec i mean the hardware it is not supported because it uh, it will affect the throughput on that devices that's why so you can see this uh, the it shows this image shows the packet capture of the udm sc you can uh, simply uh, check for the your gateways from directly from the port manager if you go here you can check the packet capture so as a as i was saying like uh, if uh, under the port manager let me show you for the udm pro i have a udm pro on my network so i can show you the uh, ports on the so right now you see this is my udm pro this is also running the 4.02 version but let me show you if you click here and under the advanced option you will see uh, there is a aggress late rate limit so you can set now the rate limit on this port previously this option was not available but now you can set the rate limit on the uh, switch port of the udm pro or the udm sc so yeah they, uh, they have added uh, these uh, features uh, the, like the rate limit on the uh, udm uh, gateway switch ports so udm sc so that is uh, i think uh, um, uh, this much uh, they have improved and added uh, new features in this video but you can check for the improvement and the bug fixes what they have done in this video and you can check under the release note uh, if you are getting any issues uh, on your previous version you can simply upgrade and uh, i've been running this uh, version from the early access so there's there is no such issues on the uh, unify network uh, either you will see the udm pro and the uxg pro there are no such issues on the performance and everything is working so i think um, that's it for the today's video i hope you will like this video if you're new to my channel please make sure to subscribe thanks for watching see you in the next video bye